So I never tried to wreck anything up, but I felt like by me ending certain relationships, it would do so much good for me. I closed so many chapters in my life that it started to everything started to look right for me. And then, like I say, if I start listening to God more often, everything would be fine. Listen to my intuition. My my whole intuition fell off. I had a knack for knowing a lot of things. And like I say, you could like I can tell when something's about to happen or what the decisions that somebody's gonna make based off of how they reacted to the conversation that I have with them. And like I said, after leaving my ex alone for a year, it was funny how all of a sudden I bump into him again. But I didn't take it there. I did not let him get the best of me this time. I didn't even have a conversation with him. He most likely looked at my videos, see how I was doing, and he went to ask me what was going on with me in my life if I was still dwelling on his ass. I proved to him every day in my videos that I wasn't even thinking about him. Like, you was not worth my energy, my time, my patience, and I was doing just fine without you. So thank you very much and see you later. So I chucked up the deuces and I blocked his ass. Even on Instagram, I was like, yo, I could forgive you, but I won't forget anything that you said and did to me. And as far as my ex-best friends goes, the reason why I wrecked that relationship up with them because I didn't want to be friends with them anymore. And I try to be nice. As long as I've been patient for and understanding, this dude did not fucking get, get the hint about anything. One thing I can't stand is self-absorbed motherfuckers that don't really get shit clear. If you can't see the bigger picture on certain situations, there's no need for us to talk because it's like talking to a one-track-minded fool or talking to a brick wall. They never listen to you. They never understand your point and they will never understand the situation here. So a few days before my birthday... I sat here and constantly contacted him about talking to me and to get shit straight. We wanted to clear the friendship up, but he was not looking forward to actually clearing shit up. So long story short, around my birthday, he was a no-show. Around his birthday, I showed up, saw him at the club, showed up, showed out, did what I had to do, walked out. Had nothing else to say after that. Blocked him, took him off of my Instagram and Facebook page, everything. Everybody wanted to know why I did that. Why didn't I talk to him? I was like, not that it's any of your business, but what me and him was going through, y'all could never understand. What I was talking to him about, he felt like he couldn't understand anything. Like, he felt like he was confused. You can't be any more confused about anything. I just think you just choose not to understand shit. So, if you play stupid, you look stupid at the end of the day. And I'm not going to sit here and keep talking to you like you're a five-year-old kid. Because if you would never understand shit, then you're never going to understand nothing in the future. So, instead of me wasting my time, I kept it moving and left them alone. So, another as love of mine. Now, this one really hurt me to the point I could never forgive him ever again. Because as much energy I put into his ass... In the past few years, I was so shocked to hear that he stepped out on me and ended up dating somebody else without letting me know, no heads up, nothing. I took about a month of leaving him alone. I took that month off away from him to think about how I should react to everything, what I should do next. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to move on. I'm going to find somebody who does want to be with me, who does want to take his time with me and want to be you know, share his life with me and share his time with me. So I was like, y'all can sit here and say that I'm mushy and emotional and all this bullshit because y'all not used to that. But guess what? I'm not going to stop being who I am and wanting what I want because y'all not used to that. I am so sorry that y'all lived in a broken home. I'm sorry that you grew up not seeing your parents together and loving each other and respecting each other like they're supposed to. But that doesn't mean you could destroy anybody's life out here. And you're not going to destroy what people like me want. We're not emotional because we want a companionship or we want a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband and wife. We're not emotionally, you know, fucked up or anything or whatever you have to say that was negative because of what we want. Because of what we want? No, that makes us mature. That makes us, you know, put together. We know what we want. Okay? Mentally, I'm fine. I'm stable. 
emotionally I was fucked up because after giving my heart and my trust and love to somebody and wasting all my time and patience and love for somebody it made me so fucked up it made me feel like I could never love another person or trust another person and now that's my biggest issue how can y'all fix that you can't, but if you choose to want to be in my life and you choose to want to spend your time with me, make sure you know what you want. Make sure we're on the same level because right now what I'm looking for is somebody that is stable, that's emotionally stable and that's emotionally equipped for everything, emotionally available as well. If you're not any one of those, then you don't need to be bothered with me because seriously, I feel like I gave enough time to people's and I showed too much love and I'm not getting none of that back. I overextend myself to so many people for so long. I'm not doing that anymore. Now it is about me. It's about giving myself the proper care and love that I need. And what I need in my life is someone stable, someone positive, someone that's very like open to love and life, who's not so sure of himself thinking that oh if he tries this move that it's gonna get him women don't try to run any games on me been there done that and i'm not gonna do that anymore as you can see i am ready for the real thing and i'm not selling for less and i want to put uh, another little um thing out here for all of my friends associates call it how you want to call it my lovers I enjoy my time with you. I have fun with you. It was nice having these conversations with you. And you know who you are because y'all always look at my videos and you always on my social media page. I have fun with y'all. Okay, don't get me wrong. Y'all was a blast. Some of y'all was a little kooky, but the rest of y'all was a blast to be around with. But we're not going to keep playing these ring around the rosy games anymore where we're seeing each other one or two days out of the week and then we don't see each other for the next six, seven months. It's not doing. It's not happening anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. Right now, we're first of all, we're grown-ass peoples. I'm not getting any younger. So if you want to keep hopping in and out of my life, that stops altogether. And my temporary lovers, those fake motherfuckers or whatever, I don't even know what to say because right now I'm just at that point where I'm leaving all y'all alone. Seriously. And there was one person that I had in mind that I thought I could keep forever, but I can't even keep him forever. So right now I'm a free agent. As far as I can tell, I've been single completely okay for two years and i don't count these temporary lovers or boyfriends as anything they were just somebody who was in my life to have a good time and not all of my exes that wants to get back with me wants to really have a real relationship wants to be in my life forever some of them are here for a good time not here for a lifetime those people who try to confuse you with or uh, manipulate you and they do it on purpose, those are the ones you need to stay away from. Because that's what I'm doing for sure. I'm leaving everybody alone. I'm not sitting here wasting my time with y'all. Y'all want to have all these little, little mediocre conversations. Oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, it's been a long time. No, see, how you doing? How's everything with you? How's your family? Please, let's be honest. This small talk is bullshit. You just want to see what's going on with me in my life. You want to be nosy. You want to see if I'm still hooked on you. Let me answer this question for all of y'all. And like I said, y'all all know who y'all are. I am fine. I live my life just the way I want to. My family is fine, even though half of y'all don't even know my family. So stop trying to pretend like you give a damn about my family or my kids. Three... Every single day of my life, I am so super grateful for it because God has shown me how much of a great person I am and he keeps presenting me with gifts and opportunities. So yes, I am more than fine. I am ecstatic. I am happy and I am free from all the pain, free from all the struggles and free from all the headaches. So if you want to know how I'm doing, look at my videos and you see how I'm doing. I am just fine. Believe me, don't get shit confused, sweetie. Without y'all giving me headaches and drama, I am fine. I couldn't be any more happier. And I celebrate my happiness every single day by doing what I want. So, I appreciate everybody looking at me. I appreciate all my essays trying to be so concerned for me. Give me that fake ass love. But I'm doing fine, okay? So, please 
go kick rocks. If you're not here to be in my life forever, leave me alone. I'm not dealing with the temporary shit. Seriously, I'm not looking for temporary friendships. I'm not looking for temporary love. I'm looking for the real thing. Okay, don't try to manipulate me into giving you what you want because it's not going to happen. I could call you on your bullshit before you could even call me on mine. And I'm way too blunt and too honest and open for you to even see anything negative. So don't even sit here trying to play yourself.